Well, let's talk a little bit about the golf courses that we offer here in Myrtle Beach because we've got our share of top 100s. We've got some that are really hard, that are really difficult. We, we've got some that are a little bit easier. The price points are a, a little more comfortable on the pocketbook. Um, let, let's say there's a group of ladies coming to play Myrtle Beach for the first time and they're looking to put together an itinerary. What, what would be your top course or two that should be on itinerary for in particular ladies new to the game? Um, well, I would say definitely Willbrook Plantation. You know, that has been ranked by Golf Digest as one of the most women-friendly courses mm -hmm. in Myrtle Beach. Um, coincidentally, that's the course I teach at as well. Yeah, it's, well, it's what, what, make, what makes a golf course female-friendly? Um, well, one, you want it to be short. You, yeah. you don't want it to be long. Um, you, want, you don't want the, the difficulty of the course to be too challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to be able to, you know, when you tee off, be able to, to, to land the ball somewhere in, in the fairway with you know a large portion of the fairway you're able to see you know if mm -hmm. you don't want narrow tight fairways with lots of obstacles bunkers and water and hazards and whatnot so i think just women going in saying okay they're on the tee they can actually see the pin it's yeah. not too far away right. and they can kind of break it down and and feel like they're able to conquer that hole saying okay if i can hit it you know if i can get to the green and three maybe four shots if they're a beginner I'm good with that. Yeah, build some confidence. Build confidence, yes. So I would definitely say Wilbrook Plantation, um, Myrtle Beach National, the West Course mm -hmm. would be great. Um, Blackmore Golf Club mm -hmm. is a great course. You know, that is Gary a player. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Gary Player course. Um, I, I love Blackmore. Um, I taught there years ago early in my career, and I love that course. Very friendly um, out there, and it's short. And so, yes, it's, you want to start on courses that will, like you said, build your confidence. And then you can kind of grow, you know, with your game as, as you start to have, you know, shoot lower scores and you want to take on a little bit more of a challenge. Then you can move to a little bit more challenging courses like Polly's Plantation or TPC Myrtle Beach and, yeah. and whatnot. So it's just, you know, one bite at a time, just, you know, getting your feet wet. If, if, you know, if a woman is watching this, I'd just say, get your feet wet with it. Right. You know, just learn the basic fundamentals, take a group clinic, and go out there and just don't keep score. Have fun. Start with Willbrook. I love it. And yeah. then and then afterwards is the most fun part of golf. And, and it's really nice to see uh, a lot of facilities in, investing and, and maintenance and adding things, putting some things in play that, that, that are making the, the experience more fun for golfers. For example, uh, you and I were at Grand Dunes recently yes. and, the, and the clubhouse had been redone. It's a great hang afterwards. Uh, with it with the new restaurant mm -hmm. Myr Myrtlewood uh, one of my old-time favorites has been mm -hmm. around a long time uh, has a concert series and and right there on on the patio and the waterway so there golf is more than just about showing up playing and leaving right. the hang afterwards is a lot of fun as well oh absolutely and many of our courses um, particularly uh, the the founders group collection courses they have the best food mm -hmm. like these are you actually want to stay and eat there after you play golf you know sometimes you know if you go play golf it's like all right where do we go for lunch afterward but the great thing about so many of our courses including grand dunes um, they have amazing food yeah. like I could actually really I can drive to the golf course and have lunch without even playing golf right yeah. <laughs> because the food is great well, so. for, for me these days I'm a lot better at the eating than I am at the golf and I can tell you that so what, what's the best way for folks that are watching this uh, that have never been to Myrtle Beach um, and, and they're interested in putting together a trip mm -hmm. what, what's the best way to go through that process that's a great question well the first place I would send them would be MyrtleBeachGolfTrips.com. So we have, you know, amazing golf advisors on our team that when somebody calls, they will actually put together your golf trip based on what your needs are. Mm -hmm. So if a woman calls and says, okay, we want to play easier courses, you know, we don't want to get too overwhelmed. Maybe it's just starting out with two rounds of golf and maybe a day of shopping or in a day at the beach. You know, our golf advisors will give them a free quote. It costs nothing, but they can put together a trip that is built on their specific needs. And so it's definitely, you know, worth a shot to go to MyrtleBeachGolfTrips.com to put that trip together. And the great thing is, you know, our directors and advisors, these are people that actually live here in Myrtle mm -hmm. Beach. These are people that know our golf courses. I think that's key too is, you know, you're not just getting somebody answering a call and just guessing. These are people 
people that love golf, that play golf, and literally will say, okay, this is the deal. This is the trip that's gonna be perfect for you and you, yeah. can, and you can trust them. And I think that's why MyrtleBeachGolfTrips.com over the years has developed such a great reputation and they have built trust with golfers coming to Myrtle Beach. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. And I tell people all the time, uh, get some help putting your golf trip together. If you try to do it on your own, because Myrtle Beach from top to bottom is 60, 70 miles, and I'd hate for you to be staying up north and book <laughs> a golf course, you know, it's an hour exactly. and a half away. That's not going to be a good experience for you. you go play the one hour and a mm -hmm. half away next time you come to Myrtle Beach. Stay down south. Stay all, all around, because it, yeah. it, it takes a few trips to figure out what it is that you like and don't like about Myrtle Beach because we have so much to offer. Exactly, and you know, it's really just linear. It's just up our coastline. So all of our, all of our courses are just on the coast, so to speak, like you said. So there's definitely, you have to come to Myrtle Beach three times. I always say yeah, you, have, exactly. you, you have to come three times because you have to play our northern courses. You know, River Hills is another great course for mm -hmm. women um, if they're on the north end. And then our central courses, and then you get our, the taste of our low country mm -hmm. there on the south end. So I always say well you have to come to Myrtle Beach three times to truly experience <laughs> golf in this area yeah that's exactly right I've been coming here since I was seven and I still don't think I played every one of the golf courses <laughs> so Meredith Kirk appreciate your time thanks for all you do um, in, in welcoming people to our mm. great game and making everybody especially the ladies feel comfortable when they head to a golf course oh, listen it's such an honor to do what we do um, I love this game in any way that I can help people uh, learn the game, get out in the course, and get more comfortable with golf. I mean, that's our goal, so. Yeah, she's Meredith Kirk. I'm Charlie Romer. Appreciate you joining us right here in the PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com studios.